It's the 7th of May and I'm headed to the river. I'm searching for my mega. It's more than just fishing for me. It is literally blood, sweat, and tears. Some days I feel like giving up. And some days I can't get enough in my search for that 60 inch fish. Some people come out and get them their very first day. I've chased them for three years. What is that? Look at its teeth. Whoa, that is cool. Another teeth will probably. All right, guys, so we are here. It's opening day in about uh, six hours. It's six o'clock now, so we're getting hyped. We're getting ready. We're all set up, seeing a few fish surface, had a few deer ticks on us, and found a few dead chupacabras. But uh, things are going to get better from here on out. Let's do it. It's 12 o'clock. It's open. Let's go. Jeremy started the night with a beautiful 40 to 45 inch fish and until light it became pretty slow. We got a few flathead chubs to start off the morning and then Tash hooked up. Oh no, you're on it, dude. How is that? Yeah. After Tasha's fish, I managed to hook into a few small juvenile sturgeon, which are always super fun and super cool looking. But after that, it was Bobby's turn. And boy, let me tell you, this is exactly how the addiction starts. It's gonna be a long one, I think. Sorry, 
sorry. Oh no! No! Nice! Nice fish, Dad. Kirk had come down with Jeremy to fish some sturgeon. I didn't want to bother him with the camera, but once I had seen how big this fish was, I had to turn it on. This is me releasing Kirk's 60 and a half inch, 55 pound piece. Great work, man. Bent. Spent, bent, gang, gang. 6'9", Takashi. Trayway, <laughs> baby. Trayway. Probably empty hooks again. Well, I got cash in the line too. Oh yeah. That's probably all it is. If it is, I'm gonna be embarrassed for you. Straight away. <laughs> Could it be the epiphany of Carbono E with the Fisher B? I almost fell over. Probably gonna be a massive hook. It's like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I'm so excited to be able to take you guys along on this journey as I chase my 60 inch fish. The way these fish fight, the way they dog in the current, the way they make you spend countless hours on the bank, it's an addiction, an addiction I don't ever want to beat. Whether I get my own 60 this year or not, it doesn't really matter. Landing Kirk 60 is a great way to start the season, and I'm sure there'll be a few more along the way. And whether it's in my hands or someone else's, I know that my smile is going to be just as big either way, and I can't wait for more. With the suckers starting to roll in, we know that the sturgeon bite is only going to go up from here. I love this time of year. These beautiful red horses, so clean. White suckers, they look a little rougher, but they're still a blast. And just getting bent on anything is always a great time. Yeah. Like no one here. No one. Beautiful out. Yeah. Hammering. Prime time. 
and I smashed my finger on the bell right before I did that. I was gonna cry, <laughs> and then my bell, my rod went off. At the end of the day, we're just some really good friends chasing some really big fish, and I am a lucky guy. Another opening day, tank sturgeon. We are killing it. Well guys, it's 9.20, we're cooking dinner. It's almost dark, we're still giving her. The mac salad on the go. Corby with the come through. All right guys, it's about 10.30 at night. I'm going to meet my good buddy, Sebastian. Fish on sea bass, I'm gonna link him below. He's coming to meet up from some, for some sturgeon fun. I'm excited, man. He's bringing coffee and donuts. He said, I know you're a con donut connoisseur, Adam. I'm bringing them. Let's go get them. Well, it's 11.45, so I think that's gonna be the last fish. Day one, opening day. I guess I shouldn't have made the assumption, because next cast, and about 10 seconds later, it was go time once again. Well, it's about 12 o'clock, so that's 24 hours. Opening day is over, and we're ending it with a beautiful surge. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching episode one of Dinosaurs of the Badlands as much as I enjoyed making it. Stay tuned for episode two coming to you on Friday at 3 p.m. I promise, guys, the action is going to be epic.